Borskaven någonstans. Lyssna noga på mamma nu. Vårdat språk. Inga svordomar. Inga frågor. Det ska väl bli en riktigt snygg tjej till din kollega. Cool Girl is a true crimes tale from the underbelly. An account of a Swedish vice ring that plays out under a fog of tobacco smoke. The girls from the juvenile home are strong-armed away to cheesy house parties and ritzy dinners. Chances are they are all bound for the minister's bed. Henry, I know that you weren't alive in the 1970s, but they really were that yellow. <laughs> It's all the indoor smoking, I think. Um, yeah, I, I just, this film like really grew on me. I, mm. I started out, and it took it took a good forty-five minutes for me to realise that they were cool girls for a start, because the director doesn't tell you that explicitly yeah. for that long. And then it just it grows and grows and grows. And some would say that it was boring and tedious, but I think it was just a, a kind of masterful slow pace, and it took us to a really interesting drama. It doesn't really have a traditional. Story. No, I mean, you know, I mean, considering it's a you're dealing with a vice ring here, it's almost like a kind of slice of life drama yeah. until the last forty minutes. But you see it, it backwards because you don't really see the cops working on the so-called case. Mm. You see it all from the victim's point of view. So the cop comes in kind of almost tangentially as a character towards the end of the movie, which is a very strange way to, you know, form mm. a cop thriller. But but really worked for me. I thought I thought um, Penilla August, who plays the Madame of the house, yeah. is stunning. In yeah. it. It's really great, kind of um, sinister, overbearing that matriarch. That smile that she has yeah. all the time is just chilling. And someone who's obviously seen horrendous things during her life and has just decided to lock it all out and put that all on these young charges that she's taken on. Um, so really great. Peter, did that sort of slow burn effect work for you? Sort of. I have to say I was less enthralled than. Than, than Henry in a way. I thought it was very well made. Uh, the director of photography, Heta van Hoyden, I think worked on Tinker Taylor and had that brilliant kind of Instagram effect, mm -hmm. 70s Instagram look, which had, and had some stunning scenes in it, some stunning images. It is based on a real life story though. And in a way, the journalist in me, as opposed to the critic in me, kept thinking, hang on, look, if this is based on a real life story, then stop being so coy. You know, make a, make a documentary about it. If you've got something to say, really something important to say about the Swedish governing classes, then I think you should say it. Because, to be honest, there was something a bit familiar about the conspiracy trope. It would be a different film, though, wouldn't it? I mean, it's also, it's looking at the lives of these two girls from a juvenile home. Mm -hmm. and, and they're well played. I mean, Sophie Karamir, mm -hmm. as Iris, the main mm -hmm. one, is a, it's a terrific performance from her. Yeah, I think, I think they're both great. I, th I think you're right. I think... There might be an argument to say the director's consciously put aside the real world mm. politics of it to look more at the human drama behind it, which is a valid decision, yeah. I think, yeah. you know, and does make for an interesting film in itself. Um, another thing about the style of it, I think the music in this is fantastic, chiefly because he uses mm. very obscure, like, 70s bad disco, disco. track, bad yeah. disco, but uses it so cleverly, like, when you even get to the things you recognise, like ABBA, he'll just suddenly chop out, so you're left with this real feeling of dislocation, that mm. the music set you in this mood of, oh, you're having a party, and mm. then the party ends quite harshly as they, they cut the sound out, and that's a really nice way of saying that, you know, this is... This is fun, but this is paid for fun, and it's completely false and mm. utterly bleak. Really. And what's, I think, very interesting about it is it's very, very sceptical about the permissive sexual revolution in Sweden. Mm. I mean, it reminded me, in a way, of that uh, Lukas Moodysson film, Together, mm. which has a much more affectionate view, whereas what uh, Marcy Men, the director, is here saying, saying this is all bullshit. This is a mask. This is a bullshit. Yeah. This is just another opportunity for male sexual plunder. Yeah. This is just the same old reactionary sexual politics that we had before. Mm. And I think that's a very interesting thing to say coming from Sweden. Det du ska göra är hålla käften. When you go back to your hometown, you feel alienated. I suggest you get on your way. Most of the parts that I play are just things that I got. It's that thing when you're... There's a more true version of yourself. You got a very attractive young lady over there staying with you. 